What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm here with my Throne Cycles, the Goon Runner. This is gonna really be my first ride on the new bike since the new upgrade that I installed. So if you guys didn't see the last video, I installed a 32 tooth ride out supply sprocket. And this is a narrow ride sprocket. So it's good for any geared bikes like fast shippers or these kind of bikes or even mafia bikes. So I have a link to that product down in the description below as well as a new ride out supply reflective seat. We also got a ride out supply quick release seat clamp and some theory data grips, all right? Out the box, this bike pretty much came stock. Came with the hookworms. Oh, and also I can't forget Merit platform pedals. Uh, and I also got this Merit bag so I can just put some goodies in there when I'm out on a ride. But out the box, this bike is pretty clean. I'm gonna be unboxing a new Throne Cycles bike. Uh, right now I'm currently riding to Ride Out Supply Warehouse, AKA the HQ. Gotta be careful on these Ridley Park streets. But should be good. I pretty much want to show you guys like one of the bikes that I think is a good budget bike, 29 inch for people who are a little bit more on the taller side or looking for a nice bike upgrade and you know you don't want to spend over a thousand dollars on a bike i truly believe right now throne cycles have those kind of options for you this particular bike i already own you guys have been seeing me riding on the channel for about two months now but i kind of feel like i kind of feel like i don't talk about the features enough and you know how the bike comes out the box we're gonna go unbox this new bike today can't wait to show you guys Sometimes when the streets are too busy, get some sidewalk work because I ain't trying to get hit by a car on these bikes. So, thing about sidewalk work is you got to be careful for pedestrians or cars pulling out of their driveways. But if you smooth, you know what to do. Woo! Yes, sir. This bike is for sale. Hit me up on Instagram if you're interested in buying it. I don't ride it. All I gotta do is throw a chain on here, which I'll probably do after I build this bike. But yes, guys, this bike is for sale. Literally, I don't ride it. So if you're interested in purchasing pretty much brand new HD Big Ripper written by your boy, Steezy Films, hit me up on Instagram at Steezy Film on the screen. And I do have a sticker kit coming for it too. So it will not be stock like this when you buy it. All right, guys. So, like I said, we're gonna be unboxing a new Throne Cycles bike today. This bike is pretty much gonna be used for research and development for new sticker kits for you guys. If you guys didn't know, Ride Out Supply does make custom sticker kits for your bikes. We wanna make new sticker kits for the Throne Cycles bikes, you know, so you guys can be able to customize your new Throne Cycles, whether it's the Goon Runner or just the regular 29er single speed. In this box, we have a single speed, but it's a different color. Pull the bike out of the box. There's always that one zip tie that I forget to cut. That's the side. Now let's go ahead and cut the seat bolts off so we can get this back to the stand. I'm gonna get the plastic off the bike so we can see this beautiful color. Oh, I gotta get this thing in the sun for sure. We gotta see how this thing looks in the sun. But the color of this bike, I mean, there's something on the box that says Red Earl. So this color is called Red Earl. To me, it gives me candy red paint vibes. Like how y'all see on them donks and stuff. But I like it. Uh, I feel like for the price of this bike, like you really get your bang for buck and more. You feel me? Like first things first, like guys, Maxi's hook warrants out the box. The set of tires alone, I believe is $48.99 each, which comes out to like close to a hundred bucks after taxes and stuff like that. The single speed bikes especially are not hard to put together, you know, compared to the geared bike where you got to make sure, you know, your derailleur is kind of lined up and, you know, make sure some stuff 
stuff is tightened. But this bike is not that hard to put together. You know, it's literally handlebars, pedals, wheels. Handlebars, pedals, wheels. The seat is nothing to install. You just literally open up that quick release seat clamp and throw the seat on. Easy. You know, you don't got to make no adjustments. But like, I ain't gonna lie, to anyone looking to get their next Willy bike, I really be trying to make these unboxing videos and review videos. Sometimes people be like, oh, Steezy, why are you talking bad about the company? Or why are you critic? why are you said about something about this? Or well, right, like, look, as a bike influencer, like, I want you guys to be able to buy a bike that y'all like, you know? Don't waste the money on a bike if you ain't gonna like it because that's not what you want or, the bike is too big for you. I ain't gonna lie, like this bike is a 29 inch bike. To me, I feel like if, if you're not at least 5'8", 5'8", 5'9", and up, this bike should be perfect for you. But anything below 5'8", like you might be on your tippy toes a little bit or whatever, you might wanna look more something toward like a 27.5 or a 26 inch. But because me, I'm a tall rider, I want my tall riders out there to know this bike could be perfect for you, feel me? 699, shipped to your door, can't beat it. By the way, guys, I am not getting paid to say any of this. I am not sponsored by Throne. I just really like the bike, you feel me? And if I like the bike, you know, I like the bike. I'm gonna tell y'all straight up. No, I ain't gonna cap to y'all about that. I've been a fan of Throne Cycle since I first heard about them, you know? I don't really have a favorite bike brand that I like. You know? Grew up loving SEs. You know, I've been riding SEs pretty much since the start of my bike life career. I've been riding bikes my whole life, but the start of my bike life career in 2017, you know, it was always SEs. However, to me, I just feel like, you know, we're in a new generation now and, you know, people want to see newer bikes being built. And not gonna lie, you know, SE, they drop cool bikes. They drop hot bikes. I'm not talking trash. They drop hot bikes, but some of it is kind of the same, you know, comes with the same tires, sometimes the same colorways and same parts. Throne Cycles, not to compare companies, but Throne Cycles, man, they've been kind of catering to the bike life community, you know? They've been kind of like, they did their research and development before they came out with this bike. But I gotta give Throne Cycles their flowers on this bike because out the box, how the bike comes, like you can't beat it. The color is hitting though. Now, this is a nice color. This is a nice color. The, the one thing I'm blessed about when I come out here and I build some of these bikes, I really get to ride them and enjoy them, you know? So I do have bikes that do live out here in Philly that I don't bring to Florida just because I don't want to ship it or get it transported to Florida and it gets damaged. You know, I'd rather have a brand new bike shipped to Florida and keep one out here. They pretty much zip tie the chain to the frame with a little cushion around it so it doesn't scratch the paint. Come over here with some, if you got scissors, scissors are fine, but I'm using zip tie cutters. Boom, chain drops down like that. Get our wheel, pull off all the plastic protection and the rest of the stuff that's on here. Another cool thing about this bike is if you are a beginner at wheelies or if you're a beginner or new to bike life, this is definitely a bike I would say is good for beginners, you feel me? Some people, when they get a new bike, they already want to change the tires or upgrade the free wheel or upgrade the hub. This bike already comes with upgrades out the box. Like, what? Come on now. Like, hold on. Quick hub sound check. And the bike's not even broken in yet, so that's, it's, it could be way louder than how much it just sounded right now. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the pedals. Pedals are not bad at all. Metal pedals, but they're not like bear claws or any kind of pedal that's gonna like mess up your knee badly or your shin badly when you hit it. But, you know, they kind of do have a little bit of pointy things in. If you miss your, your footing, you could hurt your shin a little bit, but try not to do that. Obviously that's a rookie move if you do do that. But what I like to do with pedals every time I get them, Pick up a set of Park Tool grease, guys, from Amazon. Try to grease your pedals up. Uh, if you don't have grease, you know, 
you know, try to put like some kind of lubricant or something just so those pedals don't get stuck on you if you need to remove them. The grease I use is Park Tool Grease. I've been using them for years. I'll have a link to them in the description below on my Amazon store. The pedals do come labeled, so make sure you put them on correctly so you don't strip your brand new cranks. This is the right side. There's a little R on here. I'm not sure if you guys can see that on camera, but you're gonna go put them on there and you're gonna turn them clockwise. So pretty much you're gonna turn it like this towards the front of the bike and they slide right on. Same thing for the other side. I am actually gonna use the tool they gave me to tighten up my cranks. Hold the brake to make it easier. Push down, same thing for here. Give it a nice. <clears throat> All right, should be tight. Front row is pretty easy to install and you only need a 15 millimeter socket or wrench to put the front wheel on. Boom. The bike is pretty much now put together. You know, I just gotta do a couple of last minute touches, make sure, you know, things are tightened. It's got a nice seat on there. This seat is comfortable too, guys, not gonna lie. Doesn't hurt my butt. There's seats out there that be hurting people's butts, but this seat is cool. Red dice on the valve stems, run the streets. I'm gonna go outside and show you guys the bike. But let me just go ahead and finish tightening up a few things on here, especially the brakes. Make sure you guys tighten these before you go on your first ride because I made the mistake of going on my first ride and not checking these and I was wheeling and literally the whole freaking caliper mount almost came off on me. So don't make little rookie mistakes like me and just take the extra time to make sure your bike is tightened. Pretty much held the brake lever and while I tighten these two top bolts so it puts the brake pads in position and make sure it's not rubbing. And your boy got it first try, no rubbing. Quick sound check though. You know we gotta do a quick sound check. Pretty loud. After a while, it does get annoying. The sound of that hub is probably one of my favorite things about the bike. It has 120 points of engagement on it, and it gives it that nice buzz, that nice loudness. Almost sounds like it has a free will. Every time I fly by somebody on a wheelie, they're like, yo, what hub is that? Or what free will is that? I'm like, bro, it ain't a free will. It's the stock hub. They're like, that's stock? I'm like, bro, come stock with the bike. It's a, it's a neck breaker for sure. After a while, it kind of does, eh, all you hear is, eh. it kind of gets a little annoying. So I'd have to pop my headphones in or whatever, but I do like the sound. I do like the performance. Definitely got to give my flowers to throw on that one. Quick adjustment on the brake lever. Come slanted down like that. I'm just going to go under here with my five millimeter Allen key. Loosen that up. I'm going to move it over to the side because I got long fingers. I'm going to go ahead and check these cranks real quick. Make sure these bolts ain't loose. That you're going to use a six millimeter Allen key. Not the five. Boom. Those are tight. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get the bike off the stand and adjust my seat. If you guys struggle with your wheelies, sometimes adjusting the seat can make it a bit easier for you to wheelie. I'm a taller guy. Sometimes seats come in a little forward in. I don't really like that, so I like to push it back a little bit. And then I like to give it a little bit of a slant. So, like, instead of it sitting like that, they got like a little angle. Give it that sl slant. Now I'm gonna tell you. I call that the, like the willy slant, you know? Kinda, kinda does make it easier for you to willy your bike. So I really should be putting a ride out supply seat on here, but for now, you know, it's pretty much a stock bike. Maybe in the future, I'll. I'm gonna be doing some upgrades to this bike anyway, so. Nothing too crazy, just small accessories. While I have the seat off, let me go ahead and just slap some grease on here. Again, park two grease. A little bit of grease on the seat post, just so you don't end up like certain riders who don't put grease on their seat posts. 
Some people are against putting grease on their seat posts. Some people don't care. Some people do care. I care because I've seen seat posts get stuck in bikes after a while. So I don't want to deal with the nightmare of having them get the seat posts out because it's stuck. So I just go ahead and take the extra safety precaution and put some seat posts on your seat. If you feel comfortable that you're not going to get it stuck, then whatever. But me personally, just will recommend that. The seat does have numbers on the back of it. I'm over six foot, so I like to run it on six. Let's go ahead and get some air installed in these tires. Now, I'm kind of different when it comes to air in my tires. I, I like more PSI in the rear tire than there is in the front tire. So for the rear, I usually do 45, 50, just for the break in and first ride on this bike. I'm gonna do 45, so 45. <laughs> It didn't explode, so that's always a plus. Sometimes I put air and brand new bikes and the tire tube decides to explode on me. That one didn't explode, so that's what's up. For the front, just so that this bike is easier to pick up when I wheelie it, I'm gonna put 35 PSI air in the front tire. If I feel like 35 is too much, then I'll lower it and take some air out. But I have a link to this pump in the description below if you guys are interested in picking one up. When I adjust my handlebars, just so you guys can see, I usually like to sit on the bike and then move forward or back if I need to. Just try to find what I think it's comfortable for me. So I'm gonna say like right here, Pretty much the bike is all set and ready to go. The last finishing touch, last piece is the bar pad. Even though the reds are off, it still gives it that extra look. Nothing too crazy, but the bike's pretty much put together. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up a little bit and then we're gonna go take this thing for a calm ride around Ridley Park. Haha. <laughs> Let's see how much the bike weighs. The bike weighs 33 pounds, 31 pounds. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure how accurate this scale is, but I'll try it like this. 31 pounds. That's pretty cool. Brakes need to be broken in. This is a nice open parking lot. Sheesh. Look at that red in the sun, y'all. So the bike is called Red Earl, but like I said, guys, this bike gives me candy red paint vibes. Pops in the sun. Throne made a colorway on a bike like this a few years ago. I actually owned one. I made a top five things I hate about Throne Cyclist bike, but it wasn't like a hate video. It was just things I wish they improved. And guys, five years later, four or five years later since that video, they definitely made a lot of improvements on this bike. Kid you not, I can't get over the sound of that 120 points of engagement hub. I mean, sounds like a profile hub straight out the box. If you guys know, those profile hubs are expensive, but other features out the box again maxi's hookworm these are tires that cost you about a hundred dollars plus a little bit over a hundred dollars after taxes and shipping new unless you get it from a bike shop uh so i think that's a plus on this bike is those nice tires i used to not be a fan of maxi's hookworms but they hook another cool thing they come with four piece handlebars comes with tektro brakes these kind of are like the same brakes that come on seo enduros and fast rippers and i believe the hd big rippers as well i'm usually not a big fan of these tektro brakes but because they have a different style rotor in the rear once once you break the brake pads in they do grab so i can't really trash the tech throws too much because i still run the tech throws on both my throne cycles bikes and so far so good no problems at all uh, has a little shorty stem on there but guys that color is hitting gear ratio on this bike is a 33 16 if you guys didn't know uh 33 16 in my opinion is a good gear ratio for anyone who's beginners at willies but uh down the line if you don't like the 33 16 you can upgrade to a 33 15. also if you guys are interested in the glasses i'm wearing 
they're on my website link in the description below shopsteezyfilms.com go get you a pair but yeah guys let's go for a little ride before the sun goes down and cut up on the brand new team I can't go out this side. All right, well, guess we'll go out the other side then. Bike has lock-on grips. I'm not really a big fan of these lock-on grips. They kind of hurt my hands after a while. Smoothing. Smoothing. Bikes floating. So sidewalk work. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I've been riding the new Serpent e-bike around here and riding that thing so much and then getting back on a regular pedal bike, huge major difference, you know? It kind of makes you lazy. Switching from an e-bike to a regular pedal bike kind of makes you lazy. Man, there's just something about wheeling a fresh new bike out the box, man. It just hits different. Like this bike just feels so smooth. So smooth out the box. Just wants to wheelie. I just be chilling. I just be chilling in these wheelies, guys. These are like these new ones are made for taller riders. They're made to float when you wheelie them. And it's just so much fun to wheelie. Having a nice bike that can wheelie good out the box. Nice neighborhood. And we got a nice downhill. Coasting, coasting and swerving. Wow, watch him. Woo. Let's go. Even though I'm pedaling a little bit faster with that 3316, I'm still flowing on that wheelie. Woo. All right, let's try to hit some swerves. Breaking the tires a little bit. What are you doing? It's a smooth cutter. Woo! Put up a bar. Keep that up. Oh! My foot got stuck. I'm honestly just riding around, trying to find new little areas to ride in while I'm out here. No, didn't move to Philly, guys. Didn't move to PA. I'm just out here with Ride Out Supply, helping them out. You know, we in the dungeon getting orders shipped out for you guys, getting sticker kits out for you guys. Trying to develop new products for you guys. And one of the things we're trying to develop is a new sticker kit so you guys can pip out your ride. But I cannot get over how this red is hitting in this sun right now. I mean, beautiful. Move. Let's go. Keep that wheel up. Let's go. Bruh, look at that Dodge Charger. That thing is lifted. Let's get a little bit of a leg over the frame action. And how I do that, I just put my leg over and lean back a little bit. Stay hydrated out here y'all it's hot hot and humid your boy got cotton mouth sometimes a little bit of water on the top of your head cools your brain a little bit and then you let it run down Woo. 
that should be hitting different, but it feels good. A little hack for you guys out there if y'all hot. Don't let your brain overheat. You wanna be able to gather your thoughts when you're out here on these bike rides, you feel me? Breaking those maxis in. Let's go, keep that going. Bike floats. Ooh. Yes, sir. Watch them. Hit that turn. And we just raided some Ridley Park Lake. Cool little vibey spot. Ooh. Vibes. Take a quick picture of the bike. So I'm on the Throne Cycles website right now. Just so y'all know, this bike is $6.99, all right? $6.99 out the box, and you get all of this. Can't beat it. One of the main upgrades they did to this bike compared to the old model Throne Cycles is they have a five inch yoke right here. So I believe this is where the yoke is. A little bit bigger low key i feel like you could run bigger tires on here if you wanted to like some speedsters or something maybe i'll have to try it out down the line but five inch yoke upgrade on here again maxi's hookworms out the box can't beat it the handlebars are 810 millimeters wide and 140 millimeters tall you guys want to make the bar sit just a little bit taller just put that spacer right here under here and it should sit an inch taller i'm probably gonna have to do that because i found myself kind of fighting a little bit with the wheelie and you shouldn't be fighting wheelies all right you should be comfortable on the bike and sometimes these bikes you do need to make adjustments to your arm you know like you gotta adjust the handlebars to the length of your arms you don't want them sticking out too far out if you have short arms but if you have long arms you don't want them pointed in too much and these bars i have them specific just for me i have the bars set in a way specific that's just for me because I have long arms. Anytime someone else tries to hop on my bike, they'd be like, yo, Steezy, you tall, man. Your bars are all the way out. You got some long arms. I do adjust my bike so that I'm comfortable on it when I wheelie it because I know there's a lot of beginners on here who watch my videos and they're not really good at wheeling their bike. If you just take the time and make a couple of adjustments on your bike, whether it's the handlebars, the seat position, that slant, you know, the tire PSI, all that stuff goes a long way and all that is stuff that could help you out with your wheelies. So just keep that in mind. Calm coast. Floats, man, just wheelies, guys. It's one of my favorite bikes I have right now, you know. I do have a top five wheelie bikes that I think is good in 2024, and these bikes are one of those bikes. Got a little bit of air out the front, 35 psi. Kind of feels a little bit on the heavier side too. Y'all hear the Kendrick vibing right now. No headphones, so I gotta blast music sometimes while I ride. Brake control, chiller. See action. Oh, somebody's on the dock. Calm dock vibe. 
with the new John, new bike out here. We got some cool things coming for this thing, guys. New ride out supply goodies, you know, Mare Theory. New sticker kit for this bike as well. Probably a new sprocket. I don't need to change the hub or the free wheel because that sounds amazing already out the box. The brakes are good, tires are good, the seat's good. You know, the bike's good at the box, guys. $6.99. It's more on the budget side if you're not trying to spend over a thousand bucks. You know, this bike is. If you guys are interested in the bike, click the links down in the description below and check it out. Stone Cycles has it, Amazon has them, Ride Out Supply has them, you know. Switch them up, you know, wherever you prefer. But I'm gonna enjoy this bike, enjoy this weather, and enjoy these vibes. Hopefully, this video helped you guys out on finding your next new bike. You know, if red is your favorite color. This might be the bike for you. The suggested rider height, I believe, that I would set for this bike is 5'8 and up. You know, some short people can fit on a 29-inch bike if you slam the seat and adjust the handlebars. But to me, I feel like if you're 5'8 and up, you'll be perfectly fine on this bike. You know, it's a 29-inch bike, so it is big. If you are short, you probably your legs will be dangling. I've seen short people maneuver 29-inch bikes, so there really shouldn't be no excuse. Swerve. Watch. I know I don't got my merch on right now, but if you guys are interested in purchasing some Steezy Films merch, shop steezyfilms.com. I got t-shirts available. Got glasses available. These are Steezy glasses, but they're glasses. They're my favorite glasses that I've been wearing so far. If you guys are interested in the bike, the link is in the description below as well. Again, if you want to support the channel, shop steezyfilms.com. Uh, I will be going to Ebro this year. Yeah, I remember last year Ebro was spicy. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Smash the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Currently on the road to 100k subs. Your boy Steez will catch y'all in the next video.